What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video teaching with your host, Isaiah Velez. As always, today I want to talk to you about being consecrated with God. I explain to you what that means and give you scripture um, too, obviously to back it up as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you guys got to do to get the word out. And I want to jump right into it. I was writing this down. So the Lord was giving me um, certain things to write and I was you know, doing research on this too. And um, I just wanted to research how, how, how it means to be consecrated with God. You know, don't just say the word, but you know, explain it, what it means, go in depth about it. So he was giving me it says it means the separation of oneself from things that are unclean, especially anything that would contaminate one's relationship with a perfect God. And so the scripture from that was Second Corinthians five seventeen, when it says, "Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old is gone, and the new is here." So we see ourselves as a new creation in Christ Jesus, as we separate ourselves from the things that we used to do. And we step into the new things that God has for us. For example, I remember I told this one girl about Jesus that at my school that I used to go to, and I would tell her, when she got saved and born again, she was like, Can I do the same things I used to? I wasn't going to be like, Oh no, you can't do that, you can't do that, you know, you're sinning and everything. I, I, I told her, I said, You know what? You have the Holy Spirit and you hear from God. I don't, I'm not going to be saying all these things you can't do because I'm not God and I'm not gonna control your life. So whatever God tells you, that's what, you know, basically you have to listen. Because I can tell people all day, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, but I'm not God, you know, we're not God. Only God can tell us, only God can say, you know what, hey, don't do that, turn from that thing and just, you know, reverse and just stop doing what you're doing, you know? And so I told her just, you know, listen to God's voice, you hear his voice loud, loud and clear, you know? Next day, she came to me and she told me, you know what, I got rid of um, vaping, I was doing vaping, um, weed, all those things that she was bound with. She got rid of everything. And I'm, I have came in contact with people, uh, they were cutting themselves, self-harm and all that, and they were giving that up, like, immediately. After they got saved and born again, they separated themselves from that thing that really was affecting them, hurting them, because they were trying to stop that pain that was going on inside of them. And so as... You know, as God was giving me this, the separation of oneself from things that are unclean, especially anything that would contaminate one's relationship. So those things would contaminate our relationship with God. You know, he doesn't want you to cut yourself. He doesn't want you, us to be smoking, drinking, on drugs and all of that. You know, we, we, we go through all these things, but the devil wants us to keep us bound, to keep us in that place of basically... Um, by ourselves, you know, solitude. And God has a whole beautiful plan for us that he wants us to be open, you know, wants us to share a testimony. When we share a testimony, that's why I share a portion of my testimony to people. Because when we share, when sh when we share a testimony, the devil is so mad and so angry that he lost another one. You know, hell lost another one. And he's angry because he can't get you back now. Because you are a blood-bought Christian. That's why I tell people. You're a blood-bought Christian and you are new creations in Christ. You're consecrated with God. And I wrote this down as well. It says to be, you know, to set apart for God's use and purpose. To devote yourself or dedicate. So when you... So when real consecration begins, you make an incomparable quality decision from which there is no return and no compromise. So, by scripture, consecration can bring for you. So Jesus was about his father's business. So I tell people, Jesus was about his father's business. You know, when his parents asked him, you know, where was Jesus? He was doing his father's business. He, he was telling people about Jesus. He was teaching the word. He was, he was teaching people and he was healing the sick, casting out devils. He was just about his father's business. So that's what I tell people, they ask me, you know, what am I supposed to do with my life? I tell, I tell them straightforward, you know, you have to ask the Lord. Every one of us are on a different assignment. 
every and when we consecrate every single day when we have consecrated ourselves to the lord dying to self then we our eyes are more open and we receive download of what god has for us for example there was this one girl she, an, um, another girl and everything the next day she told me i was talking about jesus and i asked her i said what do you want to do with your life and she was telling me, and I was that's that's awesome. And she said, I want to help people. I said, why? And then she told me, she said, because nobody helped me. But when you came over here and told me that there's a God that loves me, and he cares about me very much, so I want to help people. I, I really feel led to a people um, who have been, you know, hurt, abused, abandoned, and I want to help those people. Because when nobody was there, always God was with me. And that's what I told her. I told her God was with her to the end and he would, he's never gonna give up on you. And when people get saved and born again and they are baptized, you know, you are consecrated to God, which means you are being set apart from the things of this world. And you are dedicated and you devote yourself to the Lord. And as I read already, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. So I tell people, don't look, don't look back. You go straight forward. You know, you keep going forward. And they told me, they said, okay, well, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to keep going forward? You know, I have these things. I have these things I'm bound with, struggling with. I said, do you want those? Do you want to be free from that? And they said, yes. I said, okay, you know what? We're going to pray this right now. This can be broken in Jesus' name. Prayed and it was gone. She no longer had that. Um, you know that same mindset. She wanted. She was free from that. God wants her. Yes, as when you say yes, just like that, it happens. When you battle with it and you say, God, I don't really know. I mean, do I want to give up this thing? I mean, yeah, I, I don't really know God. Then it's difficult for him to move. But when you say basically, yes, God, I humble myself. I come before you. I give you my all, and I'm just saying, God, here I am. That's what I tell people. When you go to that altar, you say, God, you know, here, you, here I am, I surrender all, and I give you my all, because that's when God can move in your life. True surrender. That's what always he tells me to tell people. Basically, true surrender, and when you give your life to Jesus, you're just surrendering everything to him. Not leaving anything out, but just telling God, here I am, use me. If nobody wants to be used, use me, God, because I am here and I humble myself, God, and I want to be used by you. Amen. Hallelujah. So like I said, you are dedicated to God. You are consecrated with God. That's what Jesus told me. That's what God was basically telling me. In 2021, when I came out of that water, the new me, obviously, that's that's what he wanted me to call this, tell people that they are new creations in Christ. Second, Second Corinthians 5, 17. That's the basic foundation of the scripture. They told me to stand on, no matter what, I tell people they are new creations in Christ. And I tell people that Jesus loves you, you know, he cares about you, and he values you. And by here, consecrated, you're consecrated with God. And like I said, God wanted me to explain what that was. So it's a relationship that you have with the Lord. See, one's relationship with a perfect God. God that never makes mistakes, and not a God that wanted you. That people say, you know, why am I here? I have that question, people ask me that a lot. When they would come in, they'd be like, you know, why am I here? What, what you know, what, what am I, what, what is my purpose? What is my destiny? And I would tell them, I said, you have a powerful destiny in your life. You know, you are here because God wanted you. You are here because God created you for a purpose, plan. As we see, Jesus tells you though that that you have a purpose, plan, a destiny. You know, he has, you know, a future and a hope. So he gives you that hope and a future. Hope and a future to live for him. Remember, the enemy comes to what? The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God gives life and life more abundantly, more in full. That's why I tell people, God wanted you. He always wanted you. Never doubt that for a second. And he loves you very much. And I tell people, he loves you. He cares about you and he wanted a family. He wanted you. So, to wrap this up, 
you are to be set apart and you are to be used for God's purpose. And people say, what is that? You ask God. Ask God, what is your purpose? What is your destiny? It could just be doing this, just doing live streams. God wants you to maybe start podcasting, maybe just start a live stream. Or it could be something else, maybe a ministry. Or it could be something else, maybe becoming a nurse just to help people. I have, I have that girl told me at school that she wants, you know, just to help people. Or just to help people in, in um, foster homes. It could be anything. But when you take that time just to ask the Lord, He will show you plan after plan, idea after idea, and it will just be, keep coming and keep coming. He won't show you the full picture, but it will just show you in pieces and parts. And you will see that down there. You say, God, you know what? Lead me and guide me. Help me every single day. I want to be used by you. I consecrate my life to you from this day forth. For I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old is gone and the new is here. Amen. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I pray this has blessed you. I pray this really encouraged you in the Lord. Like it, share, comment, do whatever you guys got to do to get the word out. I love you guys. God loves you. God bless you. And I'll see you guys next time for another video teaching. God bless you.